just up here in the uh, percussion room, room 50, nicknamed the Little Clubhouse. Working on my buzz rolls. Thought we'd share with you the new uh, percussion room here at Maricosta. As some of you know, we had to move out this summer of, uh, out of room 64, the percussion palace. A little bit smaller, a little bit cozier in here, but we're able to get the job done in room 50, get some great instruction here. Mr. Miller working up here every day uh, with the percussionists. We thought we'd take you on a little tour. Uh, right over here, we've got the calendar. Over here, we've got the um, all the method books you will ever need. Elementary, intermediate, rudimental snare drum, portraits in rhythm, all sorts of mallets and accessories uh, books as well as our uh, Long Rangers. Uh, this is what you hear is the metronome for marching band. Why, well, looky here. Our new vibraphone has come in. This is actually the smaller box. They're bringing the bigger one up from the uh, uh, down there. And um, we're really thankful to have that one. Our old ones are just falling apart. Uh, currently, it's uh, over Mr. Miller's desk where he's got everything going on here. Some of our uh, bigger drum storage and um, uh, some of our marching band equipment, uh, some of our travel cases for some of our hardware. Um, all sorts of interesting old drum heads and um, uh, things from uh, different past percussion concerts and, and the racks. There we uh, made as best of the use of the space as we could with the um, vibraphones underneath. All of our pads, uh, our Catales cases, um, the Serto, you'll see that and it's a uh, neighbor in, uh, uh, in the marching band show this year. Uh, you can feel or you can see all the way back over here to where our synth carts are big bass drum, our timpani, um, and our uh, primary marimbas that we use for the marching band show again. Uh, we get some training on in the concert ensembles as well. Other timpani, uh, here's the rack um, that we uh, roll out onto the field at least, all the uh, cool accessories you'll ever want, including the infinitry wind chimes. double length and double wide row of wind chimes here. We bought that a long time ago and it's served us well ever since. Some of the big drum pads and some of our bass drums and uh, snare drums that we use for Green and Gold Day every year and also for the um, uh, all district concert. And um, it's been uh, another great week here in the Miracosta bands. Uh, just getting some of the part assignments done here for the winds. Uh, for uh, the um, winter concert. We've got some great pieces, a great repertoire chosen, and uh, we've been uh, digging into some of the details on that already, as well as the grand finale um, in the um, uh, jazz bands. Uh, also getting our repertoire in hand for the winter concert, as well as for our Monterey audition set. We're working on all that music right now. And in the marching band, we've moved right into part four, and we're uh, a little over halfway done with all of that drill, all the way done with all the music, and uh, looking forward to finishing the show here next week uh, as we prepare to uh, kind of tackle the WBA circuit at the end of October. We're going to be bringing in a high-level clinician um, in a couple of weeks to uh, come and work with us from the WBA circuit. I just, I was so excited I got my cool WBA name badge. They uh, really treat you well in that circuit, and they sent us all of these nifty badges. I thought I'd show off here a little bit for the weekly update. That's all we've got for this time, and we'll see you on the next one.